When school starts in the fall, it's easy to get back into some of those winter type routines and forget that there's still some gardening chores that can be done. For low maintenance annual flowers, they'll go ahead and bloom right up until frost if you'll just make sure they get watered during dry periods. And by low maintenance plants, I'm talking about impatiens, vinca, begonias, and plants of that type which don't really require any deadheading. Now plants such as this salvia will produce bloom for a much longer period of time if you'll go in and periodically remove those declining blooms. And while you're out there taking some of these blooms off, if you are thinking at all about trying to dry any flowers for winter use, you want to be very careful about those that you pick and choose to dry. If you get something that's a little bit mature or over the hill, it won't dry and it won't hold its color. Celosia is a very, very easy plant to to dry if you will make sure you pick the immature blooms or the blooms that are just about reaching their peak. And as far as other general maintenance in the garden, you want to continue to look for any pest or disease problems because that is something you just want to make sure that when you're cleaning the garden up that you get rid of that kind of trouble. And while you're out in the garden, don't forget the most fun job of all. Be sure you go through and weed those flower beds. If you allow some of those weeds to go to seed, then all you're doing is laying down a seed bed for next summer and you'll have more problems than you had this year. I'm Sharon Bale, Extension Horticulture Specialist, UK College of Agriculture.